All right, we're taking out this video detection processor and sending it in for repair today, which means we're gonna lose all of our video detection uh, at the intersection because the video processor is what uh, processes all the detection out in the field from the cameras and then sends it over the controller. So there's really no, it's not a great scenario to have when you have no detection at intersection, which means you're gonna have things uh, servicing green to directions when there's no one there, but it's hopefully gonna be short term. So today we're gonna go ahead and get this ripped out. So with that said, it's kind of a multi-step process here. So what we'll do is first we'll get the, probably just some temporary timing in here just to um, get us by while we uh, remove the processor. So first the timing, then the processor, and then once that's down and everything's, all the cables are labeled, uh, we'll come back and we'll fine tune the timing here as best we can. All right, that's just the temporary timing changes. We're just going into vehicle times and we're gonna adjust the green times uh, up top and then um, maybe some max times on the main line. And then we'll just recall those so that they're always being serviced, even if there's, unfortunately, whether there's cars there, whether there are cars there or not, they're gonna get serviced. But this is what we gotta do uh, in the meantime. Okay, got this just connected off of the cabinet there, or off the shelf. These are the inputs from the uh, cameras from the field. They actually travel down here. They go through a surge protection device here first. And those are actual the field wires uh, coming from the field. But we'll need to disconnect those. And then these outputs on the front side feed up to our detector cards where they convert that to a uh, signal that the controller can recognize. So we need to disconnect all this so we can have this device here sent in for repair. All right, so the processor's been disconnected. And all the cables just kind of been put aside for now. The card's been pulled out, so we're not getting constant calls on the controller. Now we just need to go back in and fine tune timing to kind of make this run as efficiently as possible. I'm thinking maybe some uh, additional max time, max screen time on the main line during rush hour times. So maybe we'll uh, adjust some time based on time of day. But uh, I'm gonna call the city public works and see if they can give me some input before I fine tune it. Okay, I notified the, or actually I called the city to ask them about any times I should be aware of that might be a pot uh, potential backup. And he's saying that uh, between 4 and 5 p.m. we tend to build up a little bit of extra side street traffic uh, from people trying to bypass the main line here to get to where they need to go. So we just did some additional timing um, that we call extra green time for side street uh, during the 4 to 5 o'clock p.m. rush hour. And uh, I've been watching it for, I don't know, probably a good 45 minutes so far uh, during the noon rush hour and everything's pushing fine. So I'd say as far as time is concerned, this is as good as it's gonna be. And I told the city to pick this thing up, get it sent in for repair so we can get detection working again. So uh, anyway, that's a wrap. Thank you.